As a contractor, it's important that you come to terms with the fact that consumers, for the most part, may not trust you. This statement is supported by the inquiry and complaint statistics published each year by the Better Business Bureau. While these statistics do serve as a barometer of the customer's satisfaction in the overall quality of our work, they also help us develop an improved understanding of how the customer views and trusts our industry as a whole. When I talk about inquiries, what I'm referring to is the homeowner calling the Better Business Bureau to inquire about a contractor they have plans to meet with or buy from. The homeowner is calling the Bureau to see what type of rating the contractor has, for example, or if there are any outstanding judgments or complaints issued against the contractor. You might be surprised to know that the Better Business Bureau reports that roofers are the number one most inquired about business type that consumers do business with. This is true in both the United States and Canada. What might surprise you, however, is the fact that U.S. roofing contractors have held the number one inquiry position every year for the past seven years. And Canadian roofing contractors have held their number one position every year for the past five years. It's also worth mentioning that roofing contractors are not the only contractors people inquired about. In 2011, for example, the Better Business Bureau's Inquiry Report placed 10 different contractor categories within the top 19 most inquired about business types. In other words, if you took all the businesses that people inquired about in 2011, this would include doctors, lawyers, mechanics, financial planners, movers, just to name a few, of all the business types they inquired about, 11 of the top 19 were contractors. By the nature of these statistics, it's not unreasonable for me to suggest that consumers have a low level of trust for contractors and they especially don't trust roofers. This is why it's mission critical that you take a long, hard look at how you promote and sell your business to them. Everything you do must minimize the customer's perception of risk and feed the expectation that your business is dramatically different from those represented within the Bureau's statistics. One strategy I suggest comes from an old sales proverb that says, if you say it, they doubt it. If they say it, it's true. It's not uncommon for me to find that many contractors like to talk about how great they are. They get in the front of their prospective customers and go over the top 10 reasons they should be the prospect's contractor of choice. Contractors often speak in very predictable terms, saying things that most homeowners would expect them to say and they're not likely to believe. They talk about being the highest quality or the most reliable, most trusted, most reputable, and all the while the prospect is asking themselves if they know enough about you to believe your claims. Besides, if you describe yourself in the same terms as every other contractor, you allow the prospect to think that you're the same as every other contractor. And that is not something you want them to think. So my suggestion to you is this. Earn the customer's trust not by telling them how great you are. Do it by showing them how great you are. Let the description of your installation processes and workmanship warranty demonstrate the high standards that differentiate you from every other contractor in the area. Highlight the policies that promote the fact that everything you do is done in the best interest of your clients. There are many successful roofing contractors who offer their customers a unique promise that reduces the customer's perception of risk and sets a standard that makes them difficult to compete with. They might provide a lien release upon receipt of the final payment, or maybe they provide a lifetime workmanship warranty or some sort of a cleanup guarantee. I know one contractor who discusses his five-part customer care program that covers everything that would affect the project's success before, during, and after the project. It should be your goal to facilitate the sales process in a way that enables the prospect to determine on their own that you're the best choice for their project without you ever having to tell them. Remember, consumers for the most part may not trust you. This is why it's critical that you take a long, hard look at how you promote and sell your business to them. Taking some time to highlight the policies and procedures that differentiate you will not only separate you from the others, it will also be perceived as a breath of fresh air for buyers who are desperate to find any justification for choosing you. I want to thank you for watching this video, and I wish you continued success.